How fast is this car traveling? What is the unit rate in miles per minute? In this lesson, you will learn to find a fractional unit rate by using a graph. You've already learned how to find a unit rate from a graph in some cases. For example, for this graph of a proportional relationship, you could find 1 on the x-axis and see directly that 1 pound costs $3. So the unit rate here is $3 per pound. Now in this lesson, we're going to be needing to divide in some examples where we don't get an integer as an answer, such as what's 3 divided by 7. A common mistake is thinking that you always need to give your answer as a decimal. In fact, it's often much more efficient to give the answer as a fraction, because 3 divided by 7 can just be written as 3 sevenths. Keeping that in mind, let's move on to see how that can help us find a unit rate from a graph. What's the unit rate for this proportional relationship? Well, the quickest way is often what I reviewed earlier to just find 1 on the x-axis. The problem here though is that when we look up at the graph we see that we're not on an integer. The y-coordinate corresponding to 1 as an x-coordinate is not a whole number. So we can't tell precisely what it is. Fortunately we know a few other ways to find the unit rate. One way is to pick any ordered pair on the graph such as this one and look at its coordinates. This ordered pair tells us that in five minutes you can travel three miles, three miles in five minutes. From that information we can find the unit rate by dividing and again remember fractions are just as good in this case as decimals so our answer is three-fifths of a mile per minute. Here's another example. What's the unit rate for this proportional relationship? Well, since there are breaks in the scales, we can't look up 1 on the x-axis. And since we don't have numbers on the scales, we can't pick an ordered pair and take its coordinates and just divide. We do know one other way to find the unit rate from the graph, though. We can take an ordered pair and look at its x and y coordinates like this. Then we can take another ordered pair that also has integer coordinates that also lies right on a grid line and look at its x and y coordinates. On the x-axis we can see that the higher number represents buying four additional pounds. And on the y-axis, we can see that that choice to buy four additional pounds results in a choice or in a requirement of spending five additional dollars. That means that you need to pay five dollars for four pounds. Dividing by four to get the unit rate, we have as our answer five-fourths of a dollar per pound. Although in this case, since we are talking about dollars, it might be best to give it as a decimal, $1.25 per pound. In this lesson, you have learned to find a fractional unit rate by using a graph.